My kids wanted Hillary Clinton to be the first woman president. I know my amazing spouse did. I wanted a woman president really badly, and I supported Hillary Clinton. A lot of my friends worked for her, and uh, I was devastated when she lost. Today's IG report says there is no evidence that politics played a role in Jim Comey's actions in 2016, and they expect you to believe that because they believe you're stupid. But it is clear a lot of people in his life were deeply hostile to Donald Trump, and now we know the FBI was filled with the same kinds of people. Today's report reveals even more text messages to and from Peter Strzok and his girlfriend Lisa Page, including this damning exchange from August of 2016. Page texted Strzok, quote, Trump's not ever going to become president, right? Right? Strzok's reply, quote, no, no he won't. We'll stop it. Strzok and Page aren't alone either. Thanks to today's report, we know at least one other FBI official was militantly anti-Trump in his outlook. Mark Stein is an author and columnist. He joins us tonight. Mark, of all the many quotes in here, here are my two favorite, because they reveal so much about the underlying assumptions of the FBI. So here you have Peter Strzok and to his girlfriend, quote, just went to a Southern Virginia Walmart. I could smell the Trump support. Mm. And then this, on election night from an FBI employee, Trump supporters are all poor to middle class, uneducated, lazy pieces of human feces that think he will magically grant them jobs for doing nothing. They probably didn't watch the debates, aren't educated on his policies, and are stupidly wrapped up in his unmerited enthusiasm. These people, these yeah. FBI employees, see themselves as members of the ruling class looking down their noses at the country they're supposed to be serving. What does that tell you? Right. Well, it's absolutely extraordinary. This is the section chief of the FBI's uh, counter-espionage division, and he sounds like some ranting idiot. And what's interesting to me about this is that the bias only goes one way. You can bet that if there had been one single email from any FBI or Department of Justice figure saying, oh, uh, you know, yeah, well, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit sick of Hillary, uh, I, I hope Trump wins on, on November, they would have put that in. Exactly. There isn't a single email uh, here from any of these so-called policemen uh, expressing anything other than not just the normal preference that people have for Democrats or Republicans, uh, but in fact uh, hyper-partisan uh, uh, hyper fervor that is actually uh, preventing them from acting as policemen. And that's what's extraordinary about it. I mean, I, I fell off my chair laughing. I mean, maybe it's because, as you can see, I'm uh, in a sinister foreign country uh, tonight, uh, uh, Tucker. I'm not like Sean Hannity just hanging out and saying, Singapore. I'm in, I'm in America's sworn enemy, uh, the, uh, the Dominion of Canada. We're going to come down and relaunch the War of 1812. So, uh, so, so it all... luck. No, me, me and Justin have been planning it. We, we, we were shocked by the Inspector General's report. Justin, uh, Justin's other eyebrow fell off, and he says, we've got to go down there and burn the White House all over again. So, um, it's going to be a very so... tough pillow fight. That's right. Uh, so, so, so what, what is uh, Christopher Wray today at his press conference uh, when he was asked why hasn't he fired Peter Strzok said, oh, we're going to do this by the book. What this report shows is that there is no book. Uh, you have the director of the FBI who thinks that he's not only the investigative uh, detective, but he's also the prosecutor and the judge. That's not a small mistake. That's devastating. Uh, you also, then you have people like, uh, people like Strzok who are, uh, who, who, are, who are investigating a crime, the crime of doing government work on personal email servers, and they're... Uh, even as they're investigating that, they're doing government work on email service. You have the most lavishly funded police agency in the world, and the director is the only guy in Washington who doesn't know uh, that Anthony Weiner is married to Huma Abedin. That's absolutely <laughs> extraordinary. He's, he's, he, he, the, re the reason he sits on the, uh, the Anthony Weiner pedophile laptop for a month is that he did, I had no idea she was married to Huma Abedin. Is this widely known? Is it in the papers? They were married by Bill Clinton. You're the FBI director. This is, why, why don't you just, you, you know, as I said, we're going to come down and relaunch the War of 1812. You should have the budget. They should be reduced to the budget of some Moose Jaw Police Department. And then they <laughs> might, might be able to figure out whether, you know, who, who Huma Abedin's married to. The great Mark Stein, improved even by your presence in Canada. You're helping that country just by being there. Mark Stein, great to see Thanks you. Thanks a lot, Tucker. Thank you.
We're continuing our coverage tonight of the bombshell report by the DOJ Inspector General. It exposes rampant misconduct at the FBI. Everyone seems to agree with that. Misconduct by Jim Comey, Peter Strzok, rank-and-file agents who gave reporters information in return for tickets to the nationals. Not everyone thinks it's such a big deal, though. Julian Epstein serves as counsel to Democrats on the House Judiciary <laughs> Committee. He joins us tonight. So, um, Julian, here you have at least three of the central figures in this report who are exhibiting political bias that's so flagrant and over the top that I think even Democrats are shocked by it, who went on to work for the Mueller probe. So you have Strzok and you have Page and you have this as yet unidentified FBI lawyer, the one who said, and we have the text right here, he wished he'd done more to get Hillary Clinton elected. Why should we not be concerned about that? We should, and that's outrageous, and that's an abuse, and that is a big deal, and nobody should belittle that. You should never have, in the course of any criminal investigation, including into elected officials, somebody that has a bias against any of the targets. Uh, I think it's outrageous, and there should be protections put in place. That said, I don't think you should exaggerate the way many people do the significance of that. Peter Strzok was not the person that was going to be making a decision as to whether Hillary Clinton's use of email violated a criminal law. That was way above his pay grade. Uh, all of the decisions, in Mueller's case, we've had now uh, 20 indictments, five guilty pleas, over 100 charges filed. Peter Strzok, in none of those cases, would have been making the call as to whether to proceed with an indictment or not. I agree line investigators should be free from bias, but I think the power of these individuals is greatly exaggerated. And in the Clinton well, Peter case... Peter Strzok was, wait, hold on, wait, just in point of fact, he was more than a line investigator. He was one of the FBI's chief Russia experts who was quarterbacking a lot of the Russia investigation. And in fact, in this report, it says, in an undercover part of it, we believe that his political bias may have led him to focus on Russia rather than the Hillary Clinton Correct. email investigation. Correct. We don't know if that's true, but that's what the IG has determined. Well, what, My only what, point is that for weeks and months we've heard that it is somehow unpatriotic to impugn the motive of anyone attached to the Mueller investigation. Here you have three people on the investigation who are full-on partisan lunatics who have contempt not just for Trump but his voters. Why should we not be really upset about that? They have no place in the investigation, particularly with the kind of views they exhibited. But let me remind you, most of the investigation that has been, uh, most of the decisions about and the leadership in the uh, Trump investigation on, on Russia have been Republicans. Uh, Bob Mueller is a Republican. Jim Comey was a Republican. The current Mr. Christopher Ray, the head of the FBI, is Hold a Republican. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I, can, look, first first all, wait, I, I just need to correct Everybody you. I need to correct you because Comey himself. Hold on. I mean, Comey, I have no idea what Mueller's. First of all, it's irrelevant because there is a civil war in the Republican Party, as you well know, and some of the most virulent anti-Trump people are Republicans. Bill Still Crystal Republicans. is a Republican. It, it's meaningless. No, no, it's a meaningless distinction. But I would just say, that, no, it, of course it is. I would just say if you, you flip it around so. sincerely, well, it, I know it is. I've been in the right my whole life. It doesn't mean anything. But what does mean something is when you have people who clearly have no self-control and an ax to grind, and why is the left which used to care about civil liberties making excuses for this crap. I don't understand it. I don't think anyone on the left is. I think what the left is saying is that Comey, which is the principal focus of the report, acted inappropriately in a way that hurt Clinton and helped Trump by making the announcement in July of 16 and then in October of 16 about things he shouldn't have been talking about, the decision whether or not to prosecute, things that were all above his pay grade in a way that inured against, to the benefit of Trump and against Hillary Clinton. That's point one. Well, I, but point I'm not two, even disagreeing with that. By the way, I've attacked Comey for doing that because yeah, I'm not and, partisan. I don't think he should have done that to Hillary. And that's fair-minded of you. Well, that's but it's true, but I'm just you, worried but... about this Russia stuff because it was started by people who thought that Trump should be stopped. And the so, rest of us should say, whoa, you should never have a criminal investigation run by people who want to achieve political ends by the investigation. Uh, I, and I agree with that. And I, would make, I, wouldn't dis, I wouldn't differ with that whatsoever. And I don't think people that have a political agenda ought to be anywhere close to an FBI investigation. They've, been purged, okay, from, they, they've been purged from the FBI, as they should have been. They no, they been, haven't. They we don't been. even know this guy. Well, these five individuals, the five individuals in, in, in this case have been. And as a matter we of fact... We don't know that. We don't even know their names. Why don't we know their names? What, well, why, look, I can't be trusted with their names. I, I pay I their think, salaries. I think Peter Strzok's going to be fired, and I think the other five will clearly be removed. It should have happened. Worse. So it should have happened so. before that. But right. that's not. I mean, there's there's so much more. Julian, in I'm this sorry report. to cut you off. We're being 
I, there is a lot more, and I hope you yeah. come back so we uh, can we'll, we'll slowly do it go through it because it's amazing. Okay. Good to see you. Today's report shows that bias at the FBI was far more widespread than just about anybody expected. It is shocking. It's online. Look at it yourself. Don't believe it. I'm just stopping by to remind you that liberals are insane. <laughs> Social justice warriors are becoming more violent and triggered than ever before. Anyways, be sure to subscribe to KGP TV on YouTube and have a blessed day. Yeah, man. Uh, you have the director of the FBI who thinks that he's not only the investigative uh, detective, but he's also the prosecutor and the judge. That's not a small mistake. That's devastating. Uh, you also, then you have That's people true. like uh, people like Strzok, who are, uh, who, who are who are investigating a crime, the crime of doing government work on personal email servers, and there. Uh, even as they're investigating that, they're doing government work on email service. You have the most lavishly funded police agency in the world, and the director is the only guy in Washington who doesn't know uh, that Anthony Weiner is married to Huma Abedin. That's absolutely <laughs> extraordinary. He's, he's, he, he, the, re, the reason he sits on the, uh, the Anthony Weiner, Peter, I, I fell off my chair laughing. I mean, maybe it's because, as you can see, I'm uh, in a sinister foreign country uh, tonight, uh, uh, Tucker. I'm not like Sean Hannity just hanging out in Singapore. I'm in, I'm in America's sworn enemy, uh, the, uh, the Dominion of Canada. We're going to come down and relaunch the War of 1812. So, uh, so, so <laughs> Lots of luck. No, me, me and Justin have been planning it. We were, we, we were shocked by the Inspector General's report. Justin, uh, Justin's other eyebrow fell off, and he says, we've got to go down there and burn the White House all over again. So, um, it's going to be a very so, tough pillow fight. That's right. Uh, so, so, so what, what is, uh, it's Christopher Wray today at his press conference, uh, when he was asked why hasn't he fired Peter Strzok, said, oh, well, we're going to do this by the book. What this report shows is that there is no book. Counter espionage division, and he sounds like some ranting idiot. And what's interesting to me about this is that the bias only goes one way. You can bet that if there had been one single email from any FBI or Department of Justice figure saying, oh, uh, you know, yeah, well, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit sick of Hillary, uh, I, I hope Trump wins on, on November, they would have put that in. Exactly. There isn't a single email uh, here from any of these so-called policemen uh, expressing anything other than not just the normal preference that people have for Democrats or Republicans, uh, but in fact uh, hyper-partisan uh, hyper partisan fervor that is actually uh, preventing them from acting as policemen. And that's what's extraordinary about it. I mean, I my kids wanted Hillary Clinton to be the first woman president. I know my amazing spouse did. I wanted a woman president really badly, and I supported Hillary Clinton. A lot of my friends worked for her, and uh, I was devastated when she lost. Today's IG report says there is no evidence that politics played a role in Jim Comey's actions in 2016, and they expect you to believe that because they believe you're stupid. But it is clear a lot of people in his life were deeply hostile to Donald Trump, and now we know the FBI was filled with the same kinds of people. Today's report reveals even more text messages to and from Peter Strzok and his girlfriend Lisa Page, including this damning exchange from August of 2016. Page texted Strzok, quote, Trump's not ever going to become president, right? Right? Strzok's reply, quote, no. No, he won't. We'll stop it. Strzok and Page aren't alone either. Thanks to today's report, we know at least one other FBI official was militantly anti-Trump in his outlook. Mark Stein is an author and columnist. He joins us tonight. Mark, of all the many quotes in here, here are my two favorite, because they reveal so much about the underlying assumptions of the FBI. So here you have Peter Strzok and to his girlfriend, quote, just went to a Southern Virginia Walmart. I could smell the Trump support. Mm. And then this, on election night from an FBI employee, Trump supporters are all poor to middle class, uneducated, lazy pieces of human feces that think he will magically grant them jobs for doing nothing. They probably didn't watch the debates, aren't educated on his policies, and are stupidly wrapped up in his unmerited enthusiasm. These people, these yeah. FBI employees, see themselves as members of the ruling class looking down their noses at the country they're supposed to be serving. What does that tell you? Right. 
Well, it's absolutely extraordinary. This is the section chief of the FBI's... Uh...